and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be continuing the main scenario of Stormblood. And as always, hello from Mifri. Hello. So let's see what the next quest is called. The next quest is called Best Served with Cold Steel, the dreaded evil quest. So Roban knows exactly what he would like you to do. So let's do it. So we've been careful to avoid needless shows of force this side of the wall, but that's all about to change. And when it does, you may be sure they'll send their new toys out to entertain us. I would ask you to participate in this operation, but from the look, I see it is a foregone conclusion. My thanks. Uh, per Pippin's plan, we need to turn East End into an Imperial Graveyard. You're a dab hand at this, and I'd be a fool not to use you. Head to this spot on your map, right here, eh? A patrol should be along shortly. Deal with them, then rendezvous with the rest of us at this location. Go well, Mifri. Okay. So at this point, I'm sure people will be watching the video eagerly and be like, Did he do it? Did he do it? <laughs> so, let's see. Now, I have received word that... Um, the quest line might have been fixed, so and that's why everyone's rushing to do it right now. But it's been mostly broken the last two days, so we will see. We will see. Now, uh, of course, it was inevitable that they would fix it. You know, it's you know, of course they have people working on it and so on. But unfortunately, the damage is done. We've already lost six to seven very key members of the FC. They've all moved to Omega server, so and they won't be able to come back for three months. And they might never come back if they just find a home in Omega. So, regardless of how quick they fixed it, the damage is already done, I'm afraid. But we will keep pressing on. We'll I'll keep playing the game and so on. But, you know, it has been quite a frustrating experience, that's for sure. Hopefully, the next time they launch an expansion, this won't happen. So, anyway, let's go here. Given this is an outdoor battle, I might have to... Use my chocobo. Well, I don't have to, but it'll just make it easier. I forgot to put my chakra again. Let me do the caster first. Right. Okay, cool. It, though. Let's kill this tree. Cool. I am having a lot of fun on Monk, I really was, because like I said, the reason I chose Monk to be my main going into Stormblood is simply because um, it was the class I enjoyed the most out of every class in the game for level 260. Simple as that. And while I've been waiting for roulettes and everything to reset, I've been doing... I leveled up my Samurai just now to 51. So, I always keep myself busy. I don't like to stand still, you know what I mean? So, okay, let's carry on. And then let's rendezvous with Roban. And let's see if we can get through this. I have noticed that more um, there is a lot of story quests in this area. This one in particular is actually one for the Aether Currents. I am planning to make my Aether Current visual guides as I did before, where I'll show all the Aether Currents, where they are, and what you need to do to get there, and so on, what the pre-requirements are, and blah blah blah, like I did with Heaven Sword. But I'm waiting to a point where I can get them all done at once, then I will do the, uh, do the videos. There's an Aether Current there. So that's why I'm ignoring all the Aether Currents. Okay, so let's do this. This gives me hope. Look, there's way, way... There used to be like 100 people standing here, so I guess it's working. So, all went to plan then? Good. I actually need to dismiss my Chocobo. Our scouts report that a unit escorting the prototype weapons has left uh, Celestum Valangia. The Resistance is already in position, and we have but to wait for our guests to arrive. Cool. So, duty calls commence battle for best serve with cold steel. If your level is above 62, it will be synced. Of course, it's going to fail because I've got my chocobo summon. Not unless it doesn't care about chocobos anymore. Maybe they fix that. Things looked grim 
in for us after Cartano, didn't they? Oh, how they doubted us. Yet here we are, right as rain, with fancy new toys to put through their paces. <laughs> it's like all my name days have come at once! So the laughs in game are not any different how I've been voice acting them this whole time. Well, 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 if it isn't Garland's little troublemaker. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on Xenos's face when I bring him your head. Is if my secret weapons here don't grind it into mush. Attack! Good luck, my free. Ah. Fight first time, yeah. Aren't you gonna kill the ads first? I'll let Roban deal with the main guy. How exciting! for me. Probably need to fix my key bindings so they're more consistent between Samurai and Monk. How does this guy go? Jesus. You're not supposed to kill these slight little guys. Maybe you're not actually supposed to kill them. They have way too much health. They're just a distraction, that's all they are. That's Thankfully I've got, you know, decent gear for this level. Especially given that's Captain 62 and yeah. And I am I'm 63, so am I 63? Yeah, I'm 63 already, so. Guy. The rest of my team seem fine looking at their health and stuff. I just think that if we have the Conjurer to help us, uh, it'll be a lot easier. I can maybe see why um, this instance was having such stress on the server, because this is quite a long fight. And like, you have potentially up to 6 million people doing it at once, you know what I mean? But I don't know, in terms of like, data being used, I don't know, because obviously a lot of what we do is based on the, uh, what's it called? Is 
local processing. I'm sure to the server this is just numbers. Like NPC ID la 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 uses um, ability ID la 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 does this much damage. Yeah. So we're talking like bytes of data. At least they are still okay. Roban is still okay. This house is nearly dead. Okay. I'm gonna kill the casters first. Okay, cool. Nice. Cast is nearly dead, so I can deal with the other one. Hopefully finish off Cold Steel, baby. And... Rip. Nice. So now that Conjurer can help the team. I actually don't know if you're supposed to kill the, all these extra adds, but I just feel it'd be safer for everyone to be helping kill the main boss. So like, this is basically a training dummy to me. say probably needs to heal herself. Let's see, so I'll kill him next and then the prototype. I'm just keeping an eye on your guard he's up to something Mifri. Oh crap. So this guy's nearly dead, and then I'll kill the main guy. Should probably be concerned how low Elise's health is, right? Crap. I'm gonna kill this. I'm gonna kill him now. I'll, I'll hope Elise survives. Try not to get my group killed. Over here. Okay. So yeah. Thanks. But wait, there's more. Ratizona. You're gonna limit break now. As a raging bull. Alright, epic. Good work, Roban. Proud of you, bro. Please, at least I don't die. <laughs> okay, I need 
to lead this away. This bomb. There's two of them now. Great. And this as well. Oh, crud. Aha. I can't heal at least, say, so. Rip. He's so low on health. <laughs> At least I survive. <laughs> A pugilist died. Come on. Just die already. Okay, he's dead. At least say live, please. I don't want to do this fight again. Are we done? He's running away. So he who fights and runs, what the? Who in the hells are you lot? For Alamigo, let none escape. Alright. Are they coming here to help? Okay, we have to kill it before this self destruct, otherwise, God help us, sort of thing. Should be okay. I think we got this. So first ever time doing this. Come on, 8%, 8%. It's so close. Oh! Oh, God's sake. That was close. Jesus. So I killed them all. There's only one death on our side. Miracles of Magitek design my ass. I passed harder stools than these piles of scrap. You'll pay for this. Mark my words, the next time we meet will be the last. Nice. Hi, run and tell you, Viceroy. The day belongs to El Amigo. Yeah. See Mifri cheering. That's actually hilarious. But wait, there's more. So well done, all of you. I'd call this operation a resounding success. I can't say I'm surprised. The Bull of Alamigo had an impressive military record before he went west, as I recall. Credit where it's due, Master Camp. It was Marshal Turpin who made this plan, and all of you, Resistance and Alliance alike, who carried it out to perfection. Aye, that they did. Not a single casualty, for which I'm grateful beyond words. I have no doubt our comrades back at the Reach will feel the same. As will ours. It's been a pleasure, General. Until the next battle, uh, Manago, I leave the Scions in your care. 
I salute you. So we shall return to the castrum then, Mifri. Uh, Mistress Leveleur. Once more, you have my thanks. As Master Camp said, until the next battle. I salute you. Bye. Yeah. Done. Next. So, I'd heard the stories, but to actually see you in action, I almost found myself pitying the Imperials. Seriously though, it was inspirational. Ah, but you must be tired hearing that, eh? I'll keep it simple then. Thanks for the help out there. Cool. So let's take these. I don't think... yeah. Okay, next quest is called Let Your Hearts... Sorry, Let... Let Fill... Let fill your heart with pride. It should be let's, but whatever. Um, Menago is ready to return to Raugo's Reach. So, well, there's no reason to remain here any longer. Let's get back to the Reach. Cool. So let's go back to Raugo's Reach. The cold steel is now done. Yay. First try, first attempt ever. I didn't see the bug on it. Though I did see the bug of doing like the Red Mage and Samurai quest, so... Well, suddenly the server is so much more alive. Because <laughs> everyone can finally progress on with the serve, like the story and so on. Wow, there's a lot of people here. Jesus. The word must have spread that this is now working. As I said... I will not forgive them for the fallen comrades we have in RFC. Okay, so next, let's go here. Okay, good luck ex ex like, selecting the quest person. There you go. So, you didn't have to take part in the operations, but you did. You went above and beyond what I asked of you without hesitation and for what we owe you a debt. So our victory may not count for much in practical terms but to symbolic value can't be overstated. Alliance and resistant fighters came together to face an imperial unit equipped with Garmo's newest weapons and smash them. The people will remember this day. Aye that they will for it marks the beginning of something far greater than any single victory. The beginning of a campaign by United Eorzea to drive the Garleans from our lands. Promises and platitudes mean naught without action, but the Alliance took the field and risked their lives for our cause. Huh. To think the last time Garlean troops trod this soil was more than a century ago during the Autumn War, and that was to defend against our invasion. Ours is a long and bloody history, to be sure, and it gives me heart to see that despite our acrimonious past, we can still come together for the sake of the future. Well said, Commander, which is why I intend to go from village to village and spread word of our victory and our new alliance. Uh, Mifri, Elise, I cannot f thank you enough for your assistance. So the people will flock to our banners, my friends. Just you wait and see. Cool. That's complete. Complete. Alright. Okay. Next quest is called... Next quest is called Where Men Go As One. So Conrad wishes to thank you all. All you have done in such a short time. So, owing to the efforts of you all, we have accomplished a great deal in a short time. The Resistance thanks you for your service, Scions. My pleasure. So, I see operations here have been proceeding apace in my absence. Welcome back, brother, dearest. I take it your efforts to gather new recruits were successful? Indeed, there were several amongst the Scion ranks that were quite eager to take part in our joint endeavour with the Resistance, whom I am come to present. 
So, Comrade Camp, if I may, my name, my name is Aronvald Lentius, a half-breed, as you can doubt, doubtlessly tell. I'm here to fight for a free Alamigo, for an Alamigo where women like my mother are never made to suffer. I pray you grant me this honor. You are true-born son of Ger Obania, same as me. This is not my honor to grant, but yours to freely take. Welcome, brother. With our swelling ranks and the aid of the Eorzean Alliance and the Science of the Seventh Dawn, I believe we will soon be in a position to seize the initiative. Once our new recruits have received sufficient training, I will uh, propose to General Aldin that we draw up plans for an assault on uh, Castellem Veladin. Then, in the meantime, we will make what preparations we can. Yeah. Let's do this. Meanwhile, in the Royal Palace of Alamigo... Look, it's the trailer. Alliance forces have occupied Castrum Orients and taken up positions along the length of the wall. Our patrols have engaged their reconnaissance parties on site, but there have been no significant exchanges, save one. A unit tasked with field testing prototype Magitek weapons was attacked. The weapons were destroyed with the unit sustaining near total casualties. Near total? Go on. My lord, there was but a single survivor from the unit in question, which falls under my command. According to his report, they were ambushed by a contingent of Aeorzean Alliance regulars, abetted by resistance insurgents. Hmm. A simple ambush and only one survivor. A fine day's work. The stubbornness to survive is not without worth. He may live. However, the Twelfth is no place for the weak. He shall be relegated at once, my lord. As you say, the Twelfth is no place for cowards who count their lives more precious than the cause. Indeed, indeed. We have no need of cowards. My lord, I... Ah! 
cowards who defer critical missions to their subordinates who hide within their castra, never meeting their prey in battle, never staring at the whites of their eyes. Why? When confronted with a heretofore unknown icon, did we surrender the wall to the Alliance? Because my honored father, in his infinite wisdom, has not seen fit to grant us leave to march on their lands. Accordingly, we have extended an invitation to our neighbors. Gear Abania is where we shall host them. The field upon which we shall Patience is paramount. Cornered animals may have spirit, but they are ultimately predictable and very poor sport. But if one dangles the promise of freedom before them while nipping at their heels to stoke their passion, then things become interesting. It is a delicate dance, one which asks much of my house. And so I put the question to you, my fellow huntsmen. How shall we deal with these savages? Sing to them. My lord, I have a proposal. Silence, Alamegan. You do forget yourself. Only by the grace of Lord Van Bailsar were you afforded a place here, and that in name alone. We have no need of your proposals, savage. It's obvious she's an Alamegan. This savage yearns to hunt her own. The floor is yours, Commander. Thank you, my lord. I wonder if she's a double agent. So like, it's, for now you think she's evil, but she's actually trying to quell the, the Imperials at least a little bit from the inside because I got a hint of that when the guy on the floor was getting the crap beaten out of him like by the skulls she told them to stop she didn't take part right then I've got duties to attend to maybe we could assist you with uh, said duties we are here to help after all the three of you have been busy, so I will understand if you require time to rest. If not, however, it would seem sensible to assist our allies with their preparations. We'd be grateful for any and all um, help you can offer. If you ask around, I guarantee you won't want for work. Cool. That's complete. So I think that's a good time to end this episode and we'll carry on in the next one. So, anyway guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and as always, goodbye from me, and goodbye from Mifri. Bye guys.